What are we going to do tonight, Burtis? Same thing we do every night, Lane. Oh, shit. Well, now that you're here, I should probably tell you why I should become one of your scum ambassadors. Not only have I been slinging the lard since it first arrived in the States, but I have built the kind of shop where we attract actual live pigs. Yeah, that happened. Not to mention that even the most well-intentioned gifts always seem to turn dirty in my hands. I'm sure you know what that's like. So, shall we on with the show? Because today, I have brought for you a giant. Today I'm going to show you an executive contour and a huge fucking beard. I super duper hope you like it and let me join your club. After we give the hair a bit of water, next we need to pick the right tonic for the job. If a dude comes in with his hair all greased up, first thing we reach for is the blue, the hair tonic. This is a great hair and scalp refresher and it breaks up the product and gets it moving and working again. If like Sean here, we have a freshly washed head of hair, you need a little bit of grip. You really need to go the opposite direction. That's when we go for the much loved grooming tonic. The grooming tonic is a great cutting medium because it'll give you awesome hold in your parting. And it has a couple other tricks that I'll be showing you in a little bit. Off to the other side. She don't smile, she don't speak. When she moves, that it knees go weak. Save up your money, get down to the home. This is far less traditional cutting than it is sketching. Far more kind of a erasing in the midst of a sketch sort of thing. Connect the bits. Make sure you retain plenty of length back here. That cardinal rule of hair cutting you can always take more off, but you can't put it back on. That goes double when you're getting near a whirl. Because those things, they'll suck you under. What's gonna happen? Lighting! Detailing of the hairline is harder when your cords don't reach. And there's a black blind man in his boots at the end of the bar. Now let's get into the sheer work. As you move towards the back, you're gonna want start to start getting diagonal sections and then vertical sections. We're gonna move from those vertical sections into diagonal section, and then you guessed it, horizontal sections. I'm gonna start breaking away and over directing towards the front to retain length. We're getting a lot closer. A lot of barbers, this is about the part where they would stop. However, Scorum is not most barbers and neither are we. The blow dryer. There are thankfully fewer barbers nowadays who eschew the blow dryer because they think it's, I don't know, girly or something. But if you want your hair to do what you want it to do, this is reforming your hydrogen bonds in your hair. So it's, it's science, right? Science is cool. This is where the grooming tonic really pulls its weight, so to speak. When you blow dry the stuff into the hair, it gives you as much volume as you can handle in a nice, flexible hold. The tonic is a great prep product if you're using pomade, but it's awesome for natural, otherwise product-free styles, too. Now it ends. Now it ends. 
Now, starting with your blending shears, I'm going to remove bulk. The key here is to keep on combing. See how much smoother that's looking already? There were body parts and grocery carts. Which part of hell is this? His first wife left him and took the two Extra fun? Razor overcome. Couldn't understand why they popped them for the toys. I'm going to cross check now while removing a little bit more bulk. Okay, now it's time for the beard stuffs. This is one of the bigger ones we get to work on around here. Oh yeah. Evening off any parts that want to extend beyond the back jawline. Corner of the mustache. Straight on down. Pull it, pull it. Keep on going. little slide cutting doesn't hurt. Break it up just a little bit. Find the corner of the mouth, hook a comb right out to the outside. This just makes things like eating and smooching and stuff easier. Your mouth isn't knitted together. I don't know if you can even see the bottom of this beard on camera right now. Maybe a quarter inch over a couple of feet of beard. Although the hair is dry now, we're gonna add another little hit of the tonic. And a bit more of the old blow dry. Extra tonic at this point helps set the style. You can also rub a little bit between your hands and then over the hair to smooth down strays. And now comes the real fun part. The goo! Although today we're going to be using the pink, there are a number of other varieties of bruisel. Why don't you come with me over to Palm Bay and I'll show you all the lard. It should be noted that none of these products actually contain lard these days. The pig on the container is just a nod to the early days when, yep, that is totally what it was made out of. Like, watch out for bear attacks time, right? The first two products that Rizal introduced were the red and the green. The red is a water-based, the green is an oil-based. And the pink and the blue also follow that line. So the blue is a roided out version of the red, and the pink is just a super version of the green. The red I like for giant pompadours because this tin is just incredibly, almost anti-gravity, it's so lightweight. It's a pretty strong hold, but not a super strong hold. The super strong is this guy. This has a lot less oil and water content than this one. The red is gonna get you those big sky high pumps because it's light enough that it's not gonna weigh the hair down, but it also doesn't have a lot of bending ability. It helps hold in place what you've already done. So if you do a lot of pre-styling and use your billow dryer properly, this can give you some of the most gorgeous finishes. This one helps it bend a little bit more. So if you have some sticking out, tricky types of hair, the blue is going to be a good one for you. Oil-based. I love oil-based pomade. It's a very old school finish. The green is more of a medium hold. Gives it some nice bendability, makes it cooperative. So if you have a big dry head of hair, this one is going to give it some nourishment as well. 
The pink, on the other hand, this is a big tub of waxy goodness. So that one is gonna give you the hold. If nothing else will hold your hair, this motherfucker will, I tell you what. You want a big bunch of the goo, you see. You always add more. Don't need to start off with a metric butt ton. Get it all up in there. Even all the way down the sides. Really just need to manhandle some head. Now that we got it started, let's get combing. When you're using the pink especially, sometimes you need to get it moving with the wide side of the comb, because if you go with the fine side of the comb, you're going to probably pull some hair out. The pink is one that moves beautifully after you get it really worked in, but it does take a minute. Cafe. 